morning. It's Thursday morning, May the 12th, 2022, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some truth with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And this morning, would you open your Bible to Proverbs chapter 24, verse 1. We're going to read just verse 1 this morning. Proverbs 24, 1 says this, Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. This is an interesting verse of scripture because it kind of talks a little bit and suggests the wiles of the devil, the enticements that people sometimes experience, and the devil's trying to tempt them and entice them to do something they ought not to do. You know, there's a song that I heard years ago that says, he the devil always paints a beautiful picture. He think he wants people to think that his way is going to be a way of joy and peace and blessedness and profitableness, but it never turns out that way. He is just trying to lure people onto the junk heap of destruction by getting them deeper into sin. And this is kind of what Proverbs chapter 24 verse 1 is about. For the Bible says, Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. The way that others choose, the way the path that others travel, may seem to be the, the profitable thing to do, may seem to be the enjoyable or the, uh, the luxurious thing to do, but it always turns out to be just the opposite. There's no real joy or peace in pursuing a course that is not according to divine holiness and divine precepts. God's truth will always bring us out at the right place. And so don't be enticed to go a different way. Don't choose intentionally to go the wrong way just because it may seem more attractive and more pleasant at the time. Satan always paints a beautiful picture. He just wants things to look good. Otherwise, if sin didn't look attractive, who would want to do it? Who would be tempted to do it if it didn't look like it was a good thing? If it didn't present some kind of a tantalizing or titillating um, invitation of some sort. So don't go there and don't buy into that because it's not a real representation of truth and reality. It's just a deception. And the Bible says, don't desire to be with those people. Don't be envious against evil men. Don't, don't desire, desire to pursue after the course that they're pursuing. Oh, they may seem like they're really having an enjoyable time. They may really seem like they're being profitable or being prosperous or being successful. But the Bible says, don't desire to be with them. And the Bible talks, has just spoken about the use of alcohol at the last. It biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. No matter how good, no matter how enticing, no matter how attractive it may look, Satan never tells you the whole story. And the negative side of it will certainly come to pass. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. That's a verse in the book of the Proverbs that we have already considered. The blessing of the Lord represents true riches. He doesn't add any sorrow with it. Satan always adds sorrow with his. He doesn't have any choice because that's the way of sin. Don't choose that way and don't be enticed by it. I'm reminded again of Proverbs 1.7 and the fact that Solomon warned his son, If sinners entice thee, consent thou not, because you will regret having gone that way ultimately. Don't go that way. Just choose truth and righteousness and you'll be blessed and joyful. God bless you today.